Hello and welcome to another episode of Mobile. No Today we're going to answer some most common asked questions and we find these questions on Google and I would say we start right now. And the first thing we're going to search is snowboarding. Uh, first question is snowboarding hard. It's hard to learn but easy to master. So um, the beginning is very hard but once you get the hang of it it's going to be easier and easier and easier to learn new things. Uh, is snowboarding a sport? Yeah. Uh, snowboarding harder than skiing. Um, it's easier to learn skiing. Um, snow skiing is easy to learn, hard to master, and snowboarding is hard to learn, easy to master. So, um, the beginning of snowboarding is harder than skiing, but um, it changes once you figure it out. Is snowboarding like longboarding? A little bit. Um, it's it's easier to learn longboarding once you snowboarded before, but it's not completely alike. Is snowboarding a good workout? Uh, it depends how you do your snowboarding, but I would say no. I, I snowboard a lot and uh, I'm still getting fat, so <laughs> I would say no. Is snowboarding extreme, an extreme sport? Mm, does this look like an extreme sport for you to you? Yeah, I'd say it's an extreme sport. Uh, like wakeboarding, mm, it depends, depends, it depends. Certain aspects are, but um, I would say not really. Uh, a board sport, yes, you're riding on a board. Uh, bad for your knees, mm, not as much as skiing. So skiing is very bad for your knees, but uh, I would say snowboarding is not as bad for your knees. But um, it's certainly not very good for your knees. So let's let's put it like this: if you have problems with your knees and you want to decide whether you go skiing or snowboarding, snowboarding is the right way. Snowboarding fun? Heck yeah! Does snowboarding build muscles? Yes. Um, if you are on the mountains and you um, were snowboarding a couple of days, you would most definitely notice that your muscles are getting sore and uh, therefore you are building muscles. Uh, burn calories? Yes. Uh, help surfing? Mm, I don't know. I don't surf so I can't tell. Help skateboarding? Uh, yes, a little bit. Burn many calories? Well, it does burn some calories, but I don't know how many, and it depends on how you're, you're riding. Uh, help lose weight? No. Like I said, I'm still getting fat. Burn fat? Hurt your knees? No. Uh, snowboarding or skiing? Burn more calories? Well, it doesn't really depend on the sport you're doing, it really depends on how you're doing it. Um, if you leave, leave gravity or the work, you're not burning uh, a lot of calories. But if you are actually working out and doing a lot of stuff on your uh, skis or snowboard, then yes, you're burning a lot of calories. Do snowboard boots run big? Um, it depends on the company. Some companies um, tend to make them a little bit bigger, some uh, don't. So it really depends on uh, the brand of boot you buy. Uh, snowboarding. Do snowboarding or go snowboarding? I have no idea. <laughs> but I don't really care. Uh, I go snowboarding, I think. I go snowboarding. Um, run boots, small, again, depends on the company. Uh, do wear a helmet. Uh, yes, I recommend always wearing a helmet. There's simply no reason why you shouldn't. Um, they, there are a lot of types of helmets, so they fit every head. You will find one that fits to you. They are um, looking quite good. Um, like there are so many kind of different helmets, you will find one that you think looks good. Um, they make you warm on the ears, so you don't get cold. And um, the most important part, um, once you crash, you got a helmet on, <laughs> so that's the biggest part. Once you snowboard and um, you fall and you actually crack your helmet once, like I had, um, you will not think about it twice. So um, I had a helmet break in the middle and it got completely ripped and that could have been my head. So I'm pro helmet all the way. Um, do you like snowboarding? Yes. Uh, do's and don'ts of, video, uh, of snowboarding. I made a video about this. If you want to uh, have the answer about this, check them out. Uh, I made actually twi two videos. Two videos. Not twice. Two videos. 
Um, Snowboard you and you have a helmet, yes. Do I need goggles? Yes, you need goggles when you are on the mountain um, because of wind, because of so, so snow, because of rain, um, because of the sun. Like all of these factors are making it very uncomfortable for your eyes and um, speed also. Um, so these things are um, bad for your eyes and you should protect your eyes. Um, so yeah, you should have very goggles. Um, do snowboard bindings come with screws? Yes, they come with screws um, and it's very important that you actually take these screws and um, because not all the bindings have the same, they all look the same, but um, they actually vary in uh, depth. Uh, boots and binding need to match. Yes, it's very important that your boots match your bindings, otherwise it's very uncomfortable. They break each other. So I had a um, pair of boots break on my binding because they weren't match. Uh, they weren't supposed to work with each other and um, they don't give you the right um, transition of force if they're not matching. Uh, bindings fit all boards. Um, almost. Um, the EST bindings of Burton's Burton are different, um, they don't fit on all the boards, but the others, yes, they do. Um, bindings come in pairs, yes, bindings release, I think this is asked like a skiing question, like the ski bindings release once you fall, some boards bindings don't, but they don't need to, because you can't um, twist your ankles or your knees, the ski bindings release because you have a high uh, chance of the skis going apart and you are ruining your knees and your wrist, uh, your ankles with that and you soft, when you're snowboarding you don't have this risk so you don't need to um, do snowboard jackets run big um, they tend to <laughs> you don't have to buy them um, there are there are uh, jackets which are pretty normal fitting jackets um, but it's a style thing snowboarders tend to wear bigger stuff um, do snowboard boots make a difference? A difference compared to what? <laughs> uh, in comparison to other boots, you can't take other boots for snowboarding, but... Um, yeah. Do snowboard boots come in half size? Uh, yes. Do snowboard whisker, wrist guards work? I am not a fan of them. They help you protecting your wrists, but I've seen um, a snowboarder break their forearm with their wrist guard because they fell on it and the force was translated from the wrist to um, the end of the wrist guard and therefore their hand broke. So I'm not a big fan. Um, I prefer falling right. So once you're, if you're falling on your uh, forearm and not on your, on your hand, your wrists are protected anyway and a um, smaller chance of breaking anything. So do that. And I'd say that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, you can of course leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to Noboard, you should definitely do that. And I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, see ya.